Hey guys, welcome back to the Mega Man X playthrough. And now we're going on to launch Octopus. It oh. feels weird without Ken burping in the first five seconds of the video. This time. <laughs> it does. Last time we did this, he did. <laughs> and I, you're I, like, well, things just escalated rapidly. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the only two who remember. <laughs> Uh, that just tells you how great my memory is. Memory. If only that oh, oh, was corrupted. I think it was more a case you don't you don't quite commit um, gastric hilarity, hil hilarious events to memory. Uh, well, I worded that interestingly. Yes, you did. Also, uh, for those who watch Pro Two, we had the same amount of people and exact kind of people we had for that episode for this one. Sue. So, if you haven't noticed by now. Because usually we do intros that there's actually different people. <laughs> so, I don't know, Lester. You did that in part four of Sonic 2, despite the fact that it wasn't. Oh! Well, that's because we've kind of already established it before then on that playthrough, and I wanted to change it up starting this one. Submarine jerk. I hate that one the most. It's in the bad placement between two spikes and a hard place. Why? It's fun. It's between two spark uh, spikes and a hard place. It's easy to get yourself sucked or blown fun. to death. But that's what makes it so challenging. What, the sucker blown? Yeah, take that out of proportion any way you want to, I don't care. Also, this is one of the two stages I do like in X1. This one, is, um, I think, was is really well designed in my opinion. It's, it's actually a pretty fun water stage in my opinion. Mm. I mean, I do wish there were a little more enemies to make it a bit more variety-ish. I was about to mention that. that. Variety in this stage is okay at most. It, this is one of the stages I don't like as much, only simply because it just... It feels actually shorter than it is. Well, there's not enough enemies in this one either. Like, that one screen you went, went through after you beat that one uh, mini-boss, like, there was nothing after... There was, like, nothing after that for the next ten seconds. I'm like, and what? you are tearing through everything. I played this game hundreds of times, and Storm Tornado does that, you know? Yeah. And he's about I mean, to do that another time. Say you destroyed the submarine so quickly, it fell before its depth charges did. Speaking of yep. Storm Tornado, I can imagine people bitching about the other X games because it doesn't have a weapon as broken as that. And to them, I say, shut up. Well, they're already shut doing that with the X oh. uh, with Mega Man 2's Metal Blades, and it's like, really? It breaks the game, and you now don't have a weapon like that? You're still complaining you want to break it? People exactly. Like exactly. Like when you have a broken game, when you have a broken game, when you have a broken weapon, you complain about it being broken. But then when you don't have it, you complain about not having something that is that broken. It's Seriously. like it's like, a, it's like complaining that later Metroid games don't have sequence breaking. I'm like, shut the hell up, people. <laughs> It seriously doesn't matter as much. If you really enjoy it more, just go play the one that has that. Just stop nitpicking. Exactly. A nitpick. Uh, also, another. This is another one of those bosses you can actually um, use your boomerang cutter on, and if you cut off his tentacles, he can't do that tornado attack thingamajiggy. Yeah, he just fires a lot more of his missiles, which actually is a little bit more beneficial. I just still don't do it only because, well. I just hope he does this more and I get a free shot on him. Don't well, launch octopus, you, you cheat. It, though. Don't uh, launch octopus, you cheat using the charge, the charge busted storm tornado. What? He doesn't have storm tornado. No, but his, his homing missiles. His, his whirlpool attack that sucks you in. It looks like exactly like the charged attack oh, for right, storm tornado. You got a point there. Two people can play at this weapon stealing game, Mega Man X. With the Horming Torpedo. Horming. Horming. And that just Horming. goes to show that a lot of Mega Man X games and just Mega Man games in general have terrible typers, and I don't know why. My plan for world domination has failed. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> at least it's not as bad as X6's typos, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. And this is my favorite track in the game right here. I just simply love this track. I love a lot. Of, actually, I really do like a lot of X One's pieces of music. In my opinion, it's like has some of the best music in the series. Actually, not to uh -oh. say the rest of them are bad. This is probably my favorite stage in X One. Yeah, it's pretty much a. It's an up scrolling stage. You gotta keep on climbing up. Simple as that. 
Yeah, I do enjoy I am quite fond of this one. And I do like this little section right here. Ed. Which I'm jeeping, because I don't care. I always do this. Oh, more like I just love the speed, uh, the speed that's encouraged to get through that section quickly. Yeah, and just for extra pre precaution, I always just go vulnerable like that. It just makes it so much easier. I swear, before the second half of the track for um this stage goes through, I half expected to suddenly break into um Tomahawk Man's theme. It just I don't know. Otherwise no that's racist me on no. Well he is after all. You know what's funny is that like when you that that little chasm between that uh, that elevator and um, the red tower thing, like you can actually walk across that as, as like a as if it was counted as a hit detection, and then you figure you'd just like fall between them and fall into those spikes. Yeah, you don't want to take the risk. It just looks mm. like it's gonna kill you. I never do, anyways. I always jump only because it's faster. And this is the only reason you'd ever want to get the arm cannon upgrade early. I said early for a reason. We'll get into that in part four. Yeah, I, 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 kind, of, I kind of mentioned it before, but you can get the arm upgrade in a separate way because it is a required upgrade. Just you get it in a different fashion. It's near the end, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, the way you get that by the other by the other method is by beating up this boss of this stage. So yeah. And I don't really ever want to do that simply because it just takes longer to do. So I'd rather get the hard pace on my first trip here and just play the whole nother stage again for it. Unfortunately, I have to do that for Chill Penguin stage, and, well, there's something called speed ups for that. Yep. I gotta be putting in music for that. Well, when I speed up, yeah, there's gonna be a little music to cover it. I'm, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to turn my thing off just to see it, and I, hopefully there won't be any echo <laughs> I don't eh, think there should be. I was about to say, there hopefully shouldn't if you don't turn it up loud enough. So this is actually one of the easier Mavericks, just because if you hug the wall and keep on filing your tornadoes, uh, tornadoes, torpedoes, this guy dies in an instant. And that, and he takes a little more um, damage from the buster in general. Yeah. He Whereas it's, instead of like two hits from the charge buster hits, it counts as... Three, so. They may have did that just so that you can go for this guy first and have an easier time killing him. Yeah, Although correct it's me if I'm wrong, but is Boomer Kawanga in um, stage two of the Sigma Fortress? Um, no, he's in one. the stage before that. In as, stage in the, as in, is he in the same stage as Chill Penguin? As in, does yeah, he make uh, one of the earlier no, he's not. So. The birds he's, have their own stages. Yeah, I'm about to say that. That and he's the only uh, Maverick in Stage One. There's no other Mavericks. Oh right. yeah, okay. never alone. No. Which which is kind of fitting because um, in Mega Man One, yeah, um, you you f fight Cutman first when you're going through the Wily stages. Well, the whole entire boss rush of this game is a big homage to the first game in the series. Yeah, the and Mega Man and Base as well, which yeah. is which I really love. I love I the way Mega Man and Base didn't come out until like five years after this game, so. Yeah, True. but I, I actually pref uh, uh, prefer this kind of method of boss rush just because it breaks it up more. You don't have to do the same thing again right away. I like how mm. it's broken up into different segments. So for now, we just have to backtrack for the rest of the items I miss. Which okay, is there any echo from my end? Not really. No, I'm not, I'm not hearing okay. anything. Yay! I can listen to the game music. Well, I really like blocks with the head pot because that makes sense. Yeah. I really like Sting Chameleon stage music for some reason. <laughs> it's alright, theme. I wouldn't say it's my I, favorite. I find that X2 has a better quantity of like tracks, but X1's got the quality. In a hmm. way, yeah, I can kind of agree with you there. Because this one does have better quality for this. For a lot of like this. some stages, I just outright don't care for. Like, uh, let's see, it's armored armadillos uh, stage music, I don't care for. I don't like. I don't care for any of Sigma State Fortress's music. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh crap, my memory is just sort of dead. <laughs> but like, uh. What, what, are all the what are all the Mavericks in this game? I, I can't remember all the names. Oh yeah, I don't remember Chill Penguin's stage music too well. Oh, really? 
That's like uh, the first one. Flame mammoth. Flame mammoth. Flame mammoth. Speaking of which, hey you, sign speed up. Well, actually, that's a, that's sort of fitting because I'm not too big on chilled ping. It's just stage music yeah. in general, so. Yeah. Let me say this. Chill oh, Penguin stage theme is probably my favorite from Mega Man X, and the what the arrangement of it in Mega Man Extreme, my goodness, like the Game Boy sounds with that theme, it just sounds amazing. Okay, admittedly, it sounds like it's something out of a Kirby game, but I love it. So and now that we, <laughs> yeah, I was about to explain something. That's why. So now that we have 100. percent we need to go get the Hydoken. Hey, look, and... it's the bat from Mega Man Classic. Yeah, that bat can drop a, a lot of lives for you, so I'm just going to life grind here for a bit, and then I'm going to go right for the Hydoken. Balloon Park. You gotta love it. And it's the Sonic Generations mix, too. Sonic 3 music. That's from the multiplayer stage, right? Yeah. Yep. But, like, I do... I do... I'm gonna go with the majority and say Storm Eagles music is my favorite th music mm. in the game. I'm still <laughs> I know, I'm totally me. original, right? <laughs> I'm still sticking with Kwanger for me. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still sticking with Chill Penguin's um, uh, Mega Man Extreme version. I just, I just love it. It, it, it's, it's just that I, I kind of like it. It's really and awesome. This honestly game. has to be one of the worst ways to get a freaking upgrade. The X2 Shoyuken, I hate more. Simply because it's at, it's hard to make that jump and keep yourself alive half the time anymore. For me. I mean, it's, at least it's easier to figure out. So. Well, kind of. How are you supposed to know you're going to hug the wall to get in there if you have full health with 100% then a capsule appears? I don't know. Unless I you can have like pretty much one bar of health and it appears. I don't know. I can hug against the wall. I hug against the wall all the time just to see what's headed in, and then headed in like certain walls and crap. So. I honestly think that one's a little more cryptic. But yet, Storm X2 is when these upgrades got a lot more cryptic. Hmm. Nah, eh, I still think X1's more cryptic than X2 and X3. Yeah, but now all we have left is the Sigma stages, so we'll see you guys there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 d